Hey everybody, this is Michael Boyer, and today I'm going to be talking about accessibility at the science building at UNA. So first, I'm going to start off by pointing out the handicap in this top parking lot. They have two handicap spots out of these rows, but it does have a ramp to get up to the front door. Or to this door, not the front door. That leads up to the door. But once you get to the door, one of the first things you notice is that they don't open and there's no handicap button to open them. And right inside the door, they have an elevator that goes to all the floors. The stairs right there, this is an area of refuge on all the signs going up and down the hallways. They have braille and the fire alarms have strobe lights. But the exit signs do not look like they have any kind of strobe lights, but they do light up. Okay, and come in the bathroom. They do have a bigger stall, but it's not marked handicap. And it might just be because they have the emergency shower in here. But they do have a baby changing station and they have the handrails to hold on to. And then right here by the main door, they have three doors, but this door actually does have a handicap automated system on the front, on the inside, and on the outside right there. And right inside this door, there's a second elevator that also goes to all the floors. Okay, and coming into one of the more popular entrances, you have another handicap accessible door. Another button. And there's a button to open it from the inside. And this is the last elevator in the building. Take a little bit. Those all the floors. We're gonna go back to the second one. Okay, we're back at the front door where I started, or probably the back door, where it comes to this ramp. And so the last thing I'm gonna talk about today is that that is actually the largest parking lot probably at UNA and definitely connected to the science building and so it does have a ramp that goes around both that set of, that step and those steps but once you have to go around this ramp You get back to the handicapped spark parking spots. And then it even has a ramp from this parking spot down to the walkway that I just looked at, headed towards the bottom parking lot.
So you get a ramp that leads all the way around. ramps actually might be leading towards the tornado shelter but like I said that corner goes around to more steps and then this these are the steps to get to the bottom parking lot the only way to get down there so thanks for watching and that's all okay so overall uh my evaluation of the science building at una was pretty good um the back entrance that i entered up that i said you had to follow the stairs went up to the top parking lot that did have a couple of handicapped parking spots it only had two and so like i said if you didn't get those and you had to park down here there's no way for anyone that has uh problems getting around to get up those steps second of all um they have the handicapped parking spots back there and a ramp to lead up to the door but they don't have automatic doors and they don't even have a button that presses to open the doors but if you go to the front entrance they do have a button that allows you to for the doors to open automatically and um the most popular entrance on the inside of campus had one but all three entrances had an elevator and um, the signs had braille and the fire alarms had flashing lights on them. And besides that, all the doors to the building were pretty wide. So uh, anyone that had a walk-in, a set, um, dang. Anybody that needed a wheelchair or like a walker could get into the buildings they needed to. So thank you.